How's everybody doing? I hope you're well. This is Uncle Chuck. I just saw the UPS guy speed away, so I think we have something waiting for us in our little lobby here. Let's see what we got. All right, we have a couple boxes here, and I can imagine you all know what these are. They are marked Bitmain and Antminer on the side, but what are they specifically? Well, you know what? Let's crack these boxes and find out what's inside. Let's do it. Okay, I kind of decided to do away with the unboxing because most of these amp miners look very similar. So what do we have here? We have got an amp miner L7. This is the 9050 model, and this is an LTC miner, Litecoin, and you can also merge mine Doge. And um, I've got this thing set up outside of the mining room just for this example here. So I've already got my ethernet cable hooked up. Most of you guys already know how to do this. I got my power sources connected to the back of the miner. Now we just need to plug in the PSU. All right, we ha should have some juice, and we do. So the next step is to head over to our computer, figure out which mining pool you wanna connect to, and get this new L7 up in mining. All right, let's get it done. Okay, we're over at ASIC Miner Value, and I thought we would take a quick look at some of the profitability of the current ASIC miners. So let's scrub this one on the top, off the top of the list right away because this is the Ant Miner KA3. It's not in the market yet. And from what I've been told from a distributor in China I trust, we are looking at the end of November. In fact, I'm supposed to have some machines the end of November if all goes well. But next to that, take a look here. We've got the Ant Miner L7, three different versions of it. And I will say this even pre merge, these were still at the top of the list. So I'm gonna go back a few months or so ago here when I purchased, well, probably about four and a half months when I purchased my first L7s, and I was making a decision of what it was I was gonna buy, and first of all, I looked at profitability. And uh, it was much higher than it is today, but still, consistently, after electrical for me, and this is gonna be different with everybody, I'm about just over 12 bucks a day. And I look at something like one of the others I, I purchased in or around the same time or after was the Gold Shell KD Max. And at the time, I've got three of these. I paid approximately $23,000 for these. And I was paying about $21,000 for the Ant Miner. So it made sense for me at the time because today they're making eight thirty two dollars after electrical for me. But... They were making close to 40 bucks a day. So when I looked at it back then and I said, well, I can spend two extra thousand for this Gold Shell Katie Max and mine Cadena, or I get myself an L7, and I was at the time, again, around $26, $27, something like that, I went with the Katie Max. But those of you that are mining Cadena, and again, I'm a fan of the project, I am, but over the last while, the actual hash rate has gone through the roof. And I believe it's because some of these KA3s have gone online and, and commercial applications. Again, I'm just speculating, but um, that's what I think. So all in all, when I go back to the decision of the other machines that I bought, such as, again, KD6s, KD Maxes and even uh, ant miners uh, to, to mine Bitcoin, such as the S19-104, 110s, the L7 has been by far the most consistent. And I would recommend it. If you're actually gonna get into this, this game at this point in time, it's been solid for me. Again, it's just my opinion. So 
part two here is uh, I opened my miners. So let's get these connected to a pool and get them up and rocking. So we have a few choices. So first and foremost, the L7 can merge mine. What does that mean specifically? Well, it can mine uh, LTC, Litecoin, and another coin at the same time, typically Doge. And how can they merge? Uh, how's merge mine work? Well, first of all, these are some of the other coins here that use the same algorithm as LTC, which is script. Doge has been the most profitable to merge mine. So that is what we are going to do today. So which pool? Well, there's a number of options for you. Um, as an example, let's head over to Poolin. Well, Poolin is a pool that you can merge mine and you will get paid out in Doge, but I'm not a huge fan. I haven't had a lot of luck with Poolin. Again, just my opinion. Then next to that, you've got F2 pool. Now with F2 pool, you are being paid out in LTC, so Litecoin rewards, rewards and Doge rewards. So you are going to need two wallet addresses at F2 pool, one for Litecoin, Litecoin and the other for Doge. Then there is the litecoinpool.org. Now you merge mine here as well, but the difference is, is you get paid out in Litecoin. So you get extra rewards or extra payment of Litecoin in lieu of Doge. So personally, my own opinion, I've had better success with litecoinpool.org than I have merge mining over at F2 Pool and there's nothing wrong over there either. And again, if you want to play the, the lotto and I call it the, 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 Do, the Dogecoin lotto, we'll head over to Coin Market Cap here quickly. And I've got, these are just a few coins that I'm, uh, things that I'm looking at here. But you can see in the last seven days, there's been a fair bit of movement with Doge. And this is really speculation of, uh, there's rumors again of, of Elon Musk buying Twitter again, and that Doge may be a payment method. Again, this is all rumors, but obviously we have seen some movement with Doge. So if you want to play the Doge lottery, I call it, I would recommend merge mining over at F2 Pool. But what we're gonna do to start is we're gonna start off with setting a miner up on litecoinpool.org. I got two new L7s. I've gone ahead and set one up on litecoinpool.org and the other on F2 Pool. So I'm gonna try and go this through this fairly quickly. I have other videos of, of connecting to, not, not to this pool, but to others. So first and foremost, if you don't have an account, head over to litecoinpool.org and sign up with an account. It's not complicated at all. And the first thing that you want to do is to head here to help. Now, this is gonna tell you a little bit of how to add a miner. So obviously your username, it gives me a bit of an example of how to set up my first miner here. It will also, if you scroll down and you have any more questions about merge mining right here. This tells you a little bit about what merge mining is all about, how you're paid out and what have you. So while you're on this page, what you wanna do is where are you? Find out, I'm on the West Coast, so I am going to simply, um, I'm gonna copy this address right here because this is the closest location to where I'm mining. So for yourself, just put in wherever you're, you're closest to. Then you are going to want to head back to, the, to your miner. You want to log into your dashboard. And again, I'm not going to cover this. I've done this in other videos, but you need an IP scanner. And if you're not sure what that is, just Google it. Get an IP scanner and get your IP address. This is my IP address for this miner. Put it into the top of my browser. And under username, I want to type in root. Under password, I want to type in root as well. We click on that and it will get us into the front end of our miner. Obviously, this miner is already up in mining and, but you wanna click on settings. And this here is where you will paste in your information from litecoinpool.org. So copy back to your miner, paste it in here. Again, this is my username on litecoinpool.org. This, because I have multiple miners, is L705. 
you click save and it usually takes about five, six minutes and you should see results in your dashboard. Obviously I am, this machine is already up in mining and everything you need to know is here. So once you get, um, you log into your dashboard and you see activity here, you can head back to litecoinpool.org and click on my account. And here is in the main page, these are some of my other L7s running right now. We see Uncle Charlie L705, password 05, and this is all just your basic hash rates, uh, shares over and over time. And if you're adding your first miner, this I already had set up, you're not gonna have any of these here. You simply want, you're gonna see this one box. So you will just do exactly what the directions say here. If you only have one miner, put your username in here and just one. And in this instance, I have already set up, you could add in L7, L708 if you wanted to. Oh, sorry, let's do that, did that wrong, L7. 07 put in a 7 and click on add worker l707 and worker so when you log back into your miner and you put in that information you will see as i do with these other ones here showing that they are online and mining so again you don't need a second wallet address for doge because with litecoinpool.org you are going to get paid out in litecoin so now let's head over to f2 pool so i'm going to do this fairly quickly i'm assuming you already have an account you're logged in you want to come to the drop down menu at the top you want to click on light on ltc you want to click on home go down same thing stratum address here you want to click on copy and go back to your miner and do the same thing you need that ip address use your ip scanner and you can type in again, same thing, root and root. And again, we're back into the front end of our miner, down to settings, and I've gone ahead and this information is pasted in here. And I have put L706 into here as an example and click save and back to dashboard. We see activity and back to F2 pool Click on workers at the top and scroll down. And here we see L706 and we are up and mining. Now the difference with F2 pool, as I already mentioned, is you will get paid light in Litecoin and as well in Doge. So there's one other extra step. You need to add a Doge address or a Doge wallet address to be specific. So in order to do that, you wanna come up to your username in the top, you wanna to click on account settings, and here's my account, click here, and you'll see all different uh, cryptos here, altcoins uh, that are that are mineable as well. I click on Litecoin, and down here, if you mine LTC, you will receive Doge rewards based on your PPL and S mining scheme. So you just put in your Doge, wallet address in here, you click save, and that is really all you have to do. And you will be paid out daily, and you will get Doge rewards to your Doge wallet, and Litecoin, coin, um, Litecoin rewards to your Litecoin wallet. So that's pretty much it. We've got two miners set up on one on litecoinpool.org and the other on F2 pool. So please, um, hit the subscribe, hit the like. I am not a sponsored guy. I'm doing this because I love it. I'm passionate about it. I've built two mining facilities and made a ton of mistakes, but I've learned a lot along the way. And I just want to share this with you guys if you're planning to still get into this crazy world of mining and, and hope, help you out a bit and not make the mistakes that I did. So again, hit that subscribe, hit that like, and we'll see you again soon. Take care.